So this time we will talk about the generator polynomial and the generator matrix of a cyclic code. So let C be a cyclic code. So C corresponds to an ideal in FQ of X, the polynomial ring modulo X to the N minus one. And um, now, maybe at first some note. Yes. Um, so we will often identify an element in here with um, f in fq of x of minimal degree. And this will be done implicitly, so sometimes you have to be a little bit careful, but it, it's quite cumbersome to write out everything. And uh, sometimes I will probably forget to mention that um, polynomial should be non-zero. Okay, so let's start off. So we have this cyclic code and so this is an ideal and certainly we have in this ideal a unique um, monic polynomial of minimal degree. So again, non-zero, so we call this polynomial G, which is our generator polynomial. And um, we see that, in fact, C as an idea is the idea generated by G. Why is this the case? Well, fq of x is a principal ideal domain, and so the ring uh, fq of x modulo x to the n minus 1 is a principal ideal ring. And so we get this. Now we are interested in some properties of G and also of the code C. So maybe let's write. So C is a NKD code. And now let's it first. Let's prove it first that G divides X to the N minus one. So why is that? Let's call this maybe a lemma. And the proof is quite easy. So um, we can write x to the n minus 1 as g times q plus r by polynomial division with degree of r is less than the degree of g. Oops, degree g. Now we also see that, uh, oh, this should be x to the n minus 1 like this. Um, now we also see that if we take cosets in fq of x modulo x to the n minus 1, we see that basically we have here 0 and which is in the code on the left hand side. This is certainly in the code. So we also get that r is in the code. But if r has smaller degree, 
and because g has many male degree we see that r is equal to zero and so in fact um, g divides x to the n minus one um, the next thing we will see is that if we write out g as g0 plus g1x plus gr x to the r, we will see that um, r is actually the rate, so r is equal to n minus k. And also um, g naught plus g until g r g naught to g r and here we have zeros g naught to g r this is a generator matrix for C. We will see the proof next time. I guess that's enough for today. So have a good day. If you have any comments or questions or um, things I can improve, feel free to write them in the comments and thanks for watching. Bye.